What's happening, people who are too stoned to find anything good on TV? Well, don't worry. I got a video for you. So there's this show on TLC called Toddlers and Tiaras. It's about pageant kids. It's total garbage, which is why it's so entertaining. Now someone has taken a clip from the show of this little girl. And she's all cute and stuff, right? Now they slowed the clip down, so now the girl sounds like she freaking drank a fifth of vodka. You breathe when you spray it. Can't even smell, can't even do nothing. <coughs> Oh, I can feel it right now in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. That is the funniest f***ing thing ever. Why she gotta sound like she's in the slow class? Now, I don't like sh**ing on little kids, figuratively or literally, mainly figuratively, but this little girl in slow motion sounds like your freaking mother after I slipped her a couple of roofies. Oh, I can feel it right now. In my mouth. It's just fascinating and creepy and it got a hundred thousand views in a week and like I can barely make any jokes about it because the video is so weird on so many levels. Weird because it's just a cute little girl, weird because they slowed it down just the right amount and now she sounds like a freaking walrus with throat cancer. Oh I can feel it right now in my mouth. Can't we all? Now you guys know me and you know that I especially love it when news anchors f up. Well these guys here over at Channel 26 are talking about this G-Shot which is a collagen injection into a woman's vagina and it's supposed to make her orgasm more. I know, right? Since when did women start having orgasms? Anywho, so this news anchor here totally f***s up. Susan, who you met in our story, says that is one appointment she is not going to miss because she says it worked for her. So she's enjoying penis a little bit more, is she? So she's enjoying penis a little bit more, is she? Yes. Yes, she is. Thank you, Captain Awkward. You know, if dude's going to say that, he, he should have just went all out. Oh, so she's enjoying penis a little bit more, is she? Well, I bet she'd really enjoy my gigantic black throbbing. Now, this video is a little old. It got 300,000 views in a year. I didn't get to review it last year, so I'm doing it now. And I want you to look at the woman's face when the subject of penis gets brought up. What the hell kind of reaction is that? Lesbian! You know, I mean, she says, thank you for clarifying that, Michael. But she doesn't really seem to be all that thankful, does she? You know, it reminds me of that time I made a boner joke in church. And people got all upset like I was in the wrong. You know, I actually don't blame the news anchor for saying that. Because ladies, I am of the firm belief that my penis can solve all of your problems. <laughs> Guys, I'm always looking for a new favorite redneck. And no, it's not this little girl. Oh, I can feel it right now. In my mouth. It's so wrong. No, my new favorite redneck is this guy. How y'all doing? Steve McGrath here, world's strongest redneck. You remember last year I did lawn mower on a stick to do my hedges? Well, this year I came up with an even better idea. So, yeah, this guy gets this brilliant idea to trim his hedges by tying a chainsaw to a rope. And this is very dangerous. Do not. Do not f***ing try this at home. Alright, again, let me reiterate. You see where I added those words there? Yeah, don't try this at home. I mean that sh I mean, come on, I don't want you coming back to me with the all injured with one leg. I'll, I'll be pissed. I'll whoop a handicapped dude's ass in public. I don't give a f Anywho, my new favorite redneck here, Steve McGrath, is out of his freaking mind. Oh, oh, oh my god, it, it almost got him. Now this video only got 50,000 views, but it appeared on Jimmy Kimmel. But I gotta admit, it's a brilliant way to trim the hedges. It saves you all that time and trouble of grabbing a pair of pruners and moving five feet forward. But I love old Steve here. Old Steve here is the kind of guy who f***ing mows his front lawn with a hand grenade. I mean, the dude has got a whole YouTube channel full of videos where he just does this crazy sh**. Seriously, after watching his videos, Steve should be concerned that this chainsaw might injure his gigantic <laughs> balls. But don't worry, Steve. I'm with you. Because come the zombie apocalypse, I want you on my side. <laughs> Oh, real quick, before I forget, guys, we made a new favorite, your favorite Martian cartoon. It's uh, me and Day Storm, and we jump into like a bunch of fighting games and kick a bunch of ass. It's just like my real life. Um, go check it out. We appreciate your support. Love you. 
So yeah guys, honestly, Steve is my new favorite redneck. Sorry, little girl. Oh, I can feel it right now in my mouth. That is just unfortunate. But you know what you can never feel in your mouth? The comment question of the day, which comes from a username, BAM. <laughs> nice username. And he said, What happened to your family? So, what happened to your family? Mine just happened to die in a horrible chainsaw accident. Thanks a lot, Steve. So, yeah, leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. Or on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> but, thanks again for watching another episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson. And I approve this message, bitches. So tell me, guys, knock knock, who's there? I step in the arena, I get my knuckles cracking, I try to keep it clean, but who knows what could happen? I see a long row, an ensemble of the best fighters from a combo of consoles. First came Ryu, a guy who cries as he tries to fight you. I deck the dude in his chest just before I shock Blanca when I